The question for this segment is what does emission duration depend on and not depend on? Emission duration is the length of time necessary for atoms or molecules to exhaust an amount of energy through photon emission. The emission duration observed in chemiluminescent glow sticks is completely dependent on energy input and emission intensity. Emission duration can be examined through manipulation of glow stick reactions. For instance, heating a glow stick will brighten the glow and shorten the emission duration. This is because the excitation of electrons is catalyzed by the excessive thermal energy. Originally, without the heat, electrons are excited by the activator. This energy that is usually made available for the dye to absorb and then emit is supplied at a higher rate. This results in increased intensities, brighter observed colors, and an effect to the emission duration. But what is that effect? In general, if photons release energy and higher intensities reflect a higher abundance of photons, higher intensities thereby reflect shorter emission durations. The available energy storm is simply exhausted quicker when intensities increase. We can claim then that emission duration is based off intensity and energy input. Imagine frying eggs. The stove's reaction with the pan releases energy to the eggs. Turning up the temperature cooks the eggs quicker, while turning it down has the reverse effect. The time it takes for the eggs to cook is analogous to the emission duration and energy output as it is a direct function of the rate at which the energy is supplied. Why does this matter to us? Emission duration relays the amount of energy consumed in the context of emitted photons. Light bulbs, glow sticks, and even fire are examples of chemical processes in progress 